Hi everyone, I'm back with another video and today I want to show you uh, my page for Bona's uh, mini album page swap that uh, she is doing over on her blog and I'll have the link to her blog down there. And uh, for this uh, page we had to use a, uh, a piece of paper from the uh, Halloween and Wonderland collection and I chose uh, uh, Wonderland Classic Classifieds and uh, this is the front side of the paper that I had to use. Sorry, I just put on back up there. And then this was the back side. And our page was to, uh, uh, the challenge was to use uh, black embossing powder and also we were to incorporate a uh, pocket um, with a tag. Um, I have to apologize to uh, Bona and the ladies in my swap because I kind of screwed up and I feel awful about it. I was supposed to put the uh, pocket and tag on the back side and I put it on the front. <laughs> um, there is a bit of space here for the binding if you wanted it on the back but I don't I don't know how that'll work, so I feel so awful about it. I guess what'll happen is you'll have two pockets facing each other. I guess the only al other alternative is to have this as the cover, which I guess would probably work because you could put a title there. I've left a lot of space there. I feel really bad. I um, did these on my holiday out at um, the cabin, and I was so proud of myself because... Um, it wasn't that it was a boring holiday and I had nothing better to do, but it was just really relaxing there and um, there's no TV, internet, you know, no phone, so you have lots of time to to do things and um, in the evenings I would scrapbook because it was all like um, one main area, so I was, you know, near my family and stuff and uh, I was so proud of myself, I got them done and I felt really good when I got home and then um, I looked on the blog because I knew it had to have a pocket and a tag and then I realized I had it on the wrong side and I, I can't I couldn't change it because this was all glued down with hot glue and I, I didn't want to start ripping stuff apart because I probably do more damage than good and uh, when I got home I just had to put the finishing touches on the page so I feel awful about it Bona um, <laughs> I hope I'm not banned from <laughs> your page swaps over this you know and it was funny because when I did this I was gonna put this in the middle of the page and I thought no I'll make sure it's over to one side so there's a ton of room for the binding and that way there won't be any you know sometimes if you don't leave quite enough room you can't get the biggest eyelid in or or the proper binding so I hope I hope the ladies in my group won't be too mad <laughs> so uh, anyways this is my page um, so for all the edges of uh, the paper, I used uh, black soot, like on the edges of the actual um, page. And then for my pocket, I used a number six uh, coin envelope. And I just basically folded it, cut the top or the bottom of it, uh, cut the flap off, and then used my uh, circle punched and cut out a half circle. And kind of glued it together and so that was the pocket that I came up with I'm sorry I'm just gonna adjust my camera here um, and then for the actual pocket I just took um, some different papers from the collection I'm just gonna take out the tags here so I have two tags in the front and two in the back I just took out the different I uh, just cut out different papers I edged all the papers other than on this chipboard uh, in tea dye and old paper and um, so I cut it to size and then I cut the two tags in the front slot to size too so they were kind of staggered and then I took uh, my glimmer mist and <clears throat> the tags will either have um, just one color on them which is either um, suede or autumn leaves or else a combination of tiger lily sunflower and either autumn leaves 
and suede so um, you'll have a few brown tags and then a few tags that have like orange and yellow and brown in them and then I edged all of them with uh, old paper and tea dye as well so a lot of distressing on them and then uh, the stamps I used um, this was one I bought at a garage sale and I'm so glad I got it it was a good deal it was two dollars and it's called holidays by Jenny Bolin and so there's trick-or-treat making a list uh, blessings and thankful so that's what I used on this tag here and then I bought some fibers from creative arts fiber added those those are called uh, beautiful I think and then a uh, uh, Tim Holtz um, uh, safety pin and then also a charm that I got from creative fiber arts it's a little pumpkin and then on the back I uh, stamped spooky and that was with the um, we are or not we are memory keepers sorry um little yellow bicycle Halloween stamp set from last year and that I um, heat embossed and I used the marker set on that and then the second tag I um, stamped the spider the black widow and that is from uh, Inka Dinka Do, the stamp set here, and it is called Happy Haunting. And this one I heat embossed with uh, Detail Black. <clears throat> so that's the black embossing powder that we had to use. And then I stapled some tool to the top. And then the back I have a little place for um, info. And this is from uh, Autumn Leaves, and it's called For the Record 3 is the stamp set. And then uh, the next tag I used um, this witch, sorry, and uh, it is from the October uh, uh, October we um, oh, close to my heart stamp set. Sorry, I just. I'm out of it today. October uh, Word Puzzle is what it's called. And then on the back I have, it was a G-Series uh, stamp set and it has Happy Haunting on it. And then Glimmer missed it the heck out of it, inked it. And then just some green kind of tool stuff that I got at the dollar store. And then this one has the pumpkin also from the um, Little Yellow Bicycle set. And then just some ribbon that I had. And Glimmer missed at that. And so then for the um, this here, I took my uh, Stamping Up Curly Label Punch, punched it out. It was just um, plain kind of white paper. And then I inked it with, um, is it Shabby Shutters, I think? No, Peel Paint, sorry. Uh, old paper and tea dye. And kind of mixed the three together and kind of gave this greeny brown color. And then I stamped it with that stamp. Oh, um, it was a pink paisley set I bought last year on, or, I don't know, in the summer on discount with that stamp. And then heat embossed it um, with either marker set or the detail black. And then on the back I just kind of kept it plain and I just took a, it was a dollar store flower and then I um, added some glossy accents and then sprinkled it or it was either glossy accents or the Martha Stewart glitter glue and then added some black glitter glue to it I think it was called onyx and then just a little sprig of uh, Prima bling and then they had these uh, bracelets at the dollar store with these skulls on them and I just put them on a, a, a pin with a bead at the top and um, yeah that's my page I really enjoyed being in the swap. Um, like I said, I hope I hope the ladies aren't too bummed about the screw up on the where the tag and the pocket was supposed to go. Um, I hope to join another one. And this was a nice way to to get a mini album and without having to buy the whole collection of paper and without having to think of it all yourself. So take care, everyone. Have a great day, and bye for now.